Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.2 Beta 4. So as you can see, I have both iPhone 12 and iPhone 10 R. And yesterday night, I received iOS 16.2 Beta 4 on both of these devices. But the update size was different. I mean, on this iPhone 10 R, as you can see, it came in about 364.2 MB. And on this iPhone 12, it came in about 428.5 MB. So if you're part of beta series of iOS 16 and if you're using probably iPhone 13 or iPhone 14 so the update size will be different for you in this video I'm going to talk about the overall performance and what are the changes that I noticed after updating to iOS 16.2 beta 4 there are visual changes and there are accessibility settings and icon changes as well that I noticed and also at the later part of the video I'll talk about the battery life and the performance and also I'll show you the Geekbench file score after updating to iOS 16.2 beta 4 on both of these devices so make sure you watch this video till the end so let's just start the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel and your one like and one subscription means a lot to me and you know, motivates me a lot to put out more content like this on youtube now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so let me just you know focus on this iphone 12 because the changes and the features i'm going to talk about the similar changes and features are there on iphone 10r so as you can see this is an iphone 12 now first things first let me go to the settings first if i go to the settings and general and about section and as you can see the ios version is of course ios 6.2 and you know this is a beta 4 update so the new build number is 20c5058d so the first change is in this page so previously this you know about page used to look a different only it used to contain the build number and the ios version but along with that now it gives you additional information like it clearly says this beta version of ios 16.2 contains bug fixes and improvements and also it gives you a direct link to go to the apple's developers beta web page so if you click this link it will take you to developers.apple.com wherein you would be able to see all the changes that are present in this ios 16.2 beta 4 so that's the first change so now this about section looks a little different and if you remember or if you you know recall you know the last week i talked about that there were two security response update that i updated on both of this iphone 10r and iphone 12 and you know after after updating it was visible under the about section but as you can see now after updating to iOS 16.2 beta 4 those security response files are not reflecting maybe this is you know inside this iOS 16.2 beta 4 but that's something I wanted to highlight now for those of you who are thinking like I'm on iOS 16.1.2 and how to get this update so let me tell you that if I go to VPN and device management and if I show you as you can clearly see this is running on iOS 16 beta software profile so unless and until you have downloaded and installed this iOS 16 beta software profile you won't be able to install and get any of this beta update so the same thing if I show you if I go to general and VPN and device management so both of this iPhones having iOS 16 beta software profile so that's out of the way now let's talk about one more change so if you go to the accessibility so both of these iPhones let me go to the accessibility and if you come down a little so as you can see under physical and motor section you know control nearby devices so this icon looks a little different on the previous betas now this you know icon has changed a little bit so that's something i noticed and you know if you have betas 16.2 beta 3 or probably the stable series of updates you can actually compare yourself so this icon has been changed apart from this accessibility settings i did not notice any other changes and you know considering today at the time of recording this video is today 2nd of december i probably expect ios 16.2 rc update next week so once we get the ios 16.2 rc next week the next to next week we can expect a public release that's the schedule apple probably has planned for this year and i you know with finally ios 16.2 public release will all get the 5g option and all other improvement that ios 16.2 beta has now talking about the battery 
you know let me go to the battery settings and if i go to the battery settings and if i click on this battery health and charging so as you can see on this iphone 12 the battery health has dropped by one percent it's okay because for a long period of time it was stuck at 88 percent and i use this device regularly so it is okay for the battery health to drop by one percent after a few you know couple of update cycle right and on this iphone 10 hours since i'm not using this regularly so it is on 88 percent now if i show you the battery so there are massive differences as you can see i don't use this iphone 10 hour uh, regularly so let's talk about this no, iphone 12 right so for last 24 hours as you can see yesterday night around uh, this time i updated and after that you know i charged my phone and this is how the battery is performing of course this will be too soon to talk about the battery life and as you can see if i click on last 10 days the battery life has been average as i said before on iphone 12 there was not you know any massive improvements with ios 16.2 beta 3 it was average and with all this application consumed this iphone battery i hope with ios 16.2 beta 4 at least the battery life improves so i'll only be able to talk about the battery life and overall performance after i use this ios 16.2 beta 4 for a couple of more days now talking about the performance i did not notice any difference on the performance but one thing that i kept on talking about was you know if you open any application and then while swiping home there was a lag that was associated right so let's suppose you open any application and then while swiping home for any of the devices especially it was happening on the iphone 13 which is running on ios 16.1 stable series of updates but it is happening right so you know after i just updated i did not notice that same issue swiping home and the lag i did not notice on this iphone 12 you know i cannot say anything as of now because whenever you update or whenever you restart your device it used to be gone it used to it seems that it is resolved but after some days you know after using the device it generally comes back so again restart your device and it will be gone for some time and then again it come back so i'll only be able to confirm after i use the device for some days and also if you know some of you are you know interested in the geekbench 5 i ran the geekbench 5 so for iphone 10 are the single core score is 1111 and the multi core score is 2645 and for iphone 12 the single core score is 1599 and the sing multi core score is 3967 and this is with ios 16.2 beta 4 update now i will again come back with a follow up review and i'll talk about more about the battery life especially and the performance and since i've been using this iphone 12 as my daily driver along with iphone 13 i'll talk more about the iphone battery life with ios 16.2 beta 4 and that's it for this video i just wanted to highlight that you know we have received ios 16.2 beta 4 now considering that whether you should install ios 16.2 beta 4 or not i would say if you're on stable series of updates if you're running on ios 16.1.2 then probably by mid-december you will get ios 16.2 update right so at this point i would say you know considering the battery life and the performance i wouldn't upgrade if i am running on ios 16.1 stable series of update but if you are on beta then definitely uh, you know update to ios 16.2 beta 4 you know upgrade to the latest one so that you know you can provide the feedback through this feedback application right so you log into this feedback application and provide feedback that's the main aim for all of us if we want to use the ios 16 beta softwares so i hope this video clarifies about the update and how to install and uh, you know if you want to install the ios 16.2 beta softwares how can you do that and also i talked about a little bit about the changes and the battery life and the performance for both of this iphone so stay tuned to the channel so i'll be making a follow-up video on both of these iphones how is it performing in terms of battery life and performance and that's it for this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing subscribing to the channel if you haven't already then again thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on the next video bye bye